everybody sitting here because you're doing projects in some kind of way of doing projects. And this is the story of Project Island. Maybe you know the place, maybe you know the story. Project Island is a beautiful small island. And all the inhabitants of this island, they are really keen about doing projects. And they are very skilled about doing projects. They love doing projects. That's the reason why they live on Project Island. Some places on this island are not so funny than the normal life because there's a king. It's, it's King, king Client, yeah? You know him so well. And, well, he makes the rules and uh, he is born to, to make the rules and there's a long tradition in doing projects like he wants to do. Projects have to be done. There are other horrible places on this island. You know what this is? This is Estimation Cave. Yeah. I guess there are a lot of developers over here and uh, this is what your part on Project Island is not only doing the cool stuff, you have to say how long it will take. So, and if we are honest to ourselves and you're inside this, <coughs> this cave, you see this is just a crystal ball because normally you do not know how long it takes um, because you're not doing only stupid repetitive things which you're doing the 120th time, so it's not possible to say it exactly. And um, the product managers and even sometimes the developers, um, they know another not so nice place on this island and it's um, the fields of specs. And these fields are, well, <coughs> really successful. They're growing higher and higher each year. Sometimes they do not work and there's a cool solution for this, doing higher and higher and bigger specifications and more, more detailed specifications. Sometimes you have to talk about these details not only in words, also in written words. I mean, you have to do a contract with a client and everything has to be discussed again and again and again. But then the project starts Everybody is happy again for a few weeks, maybe. And after the first cool kickoff starting workshops and the first cool technical workshops, um, yeah, <clears throat> during the project, the whole process begins again. Well, isn't that, uh, this detail not inside our description? Uh, why not? And why uh, does it take so much extra time and extra cost and so on? you're fighting against the client, the whole big complicated project. These are the few very awful places on this island, but finally we, are, we do not have to do these projects, we do not have to live on this island, um, but the rest is fine and so you stay with it and you arranged yourself with these awful things on Project Island. And if they are, have not been died, they are specifying, estimating, defining, redefining, and so on uh, until now. But the best from this island and from this story is our information for you. This does not have to be true. This is just a fairy tale. So, I would like to welcome you to the reality, <coughs> to the real world, and please forget old school business, how this came to us. This is a situation, maybe some of you uh, have been in this situation. We have, uh, we're doing internet projects since 20 years, and the first 18 years, uh, where maybe we need 18 years to get uh, adult, and then we discovered uh, this is not the most effective way of doing projects. Uh, there must be a better way. And um, we heard a very cool talk from Vasco Duarte about no estimates. 
And I loved it, and I heard it once and twice and three times, and I said, oh, this is, it's so true that it really already hurts, but it's not so easy to tell a client um, estimations do not work. Um, if we are all honest, if there's a special, a bigger, a little bit more complex project, we really do not know how long it takes, and we really do not know how much it will cost. But, um, well, this situation is not so good uh, for talking and uh, a negotiation with a, with a client, so um, it won't work. But estimations really do not work. There are a lot of studies which prove this. I mean, you are developers and you are also part of the problem. Um, just to make a small test, I, uh, most of you have a driving li driver license? Yeah? How many of you? Just give me a hand. Okay, thank you. And um, whose abilities in driving a car are under average? <laughs> so, the only thing I wanted to show is, yeah, it has to be more or less 50%. I mean, this is just, um, okay. And um, whose abilities in uh, making laugh is under average? One, okay. So th this is what you said, it has to be more or less 50%. Um, the effect, what, we, what I've shown to you, um, is if I have just the normal ability to do something, this is the point where I start to overestimate my skills. Some of our uh, first knowings was if you need a really bad estimation, ask a really good developer. So, because, yeah, no problem, uh, one day. So, and um, uh, when it's done after four days, uh, we have the best and, and, and smartest explanation because normally it could be done in one day and because of the reality and the client and the other colleagues and so on and so on and so on, but it took four days. So. Uh, then, uh, on the same time, we started to uh, introduce, uh, implement an agency software, and then we saw how horrible our projects sometimes are, really are. How much uh, waste we are producing. <coughs> waste is all the stuff, all the awful places on project islands. Or uh, another really good definition of waste, waste is the stuff which you have to do in projects, but what you don't like to do. Do you like estimating your work? <laughs> okay, then fine, maybe there are interesting other topics. No, but maybe it uh, have some stuff, uh, some beef for you, uh, finally, also. Um, or the project managers, they really do not like to do these specifications in these uh, 80 uh, pages of, of contracts and so on. Because if this project is complex and is big and takes one year, I hope that not even 50% of the really detailed specs will be done finally as described. I mean, this is internet, it's, it's growing, there are better possibilities, we have better ideas, but when it's such a huge amount of time and, 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 and uh, uh, motivation to, to talk, just talk about better ideas, then you do it the way you described it and you are sure not to get the best results. We really try to avoid waste. We said, okay, offers, uh, may make it as lean as, it, as possible. Fixed projects, 80 pages of specifications, estimations, contracts, T-shirt sizes for tickets. We do not do this because there is no, there is no difference between have a kind of SML 135, 123, 510, 20. There are a lot of studies. If your metric is one, one, one for each ticket, and with knowing that they are not have this, do not have the same size, it really works. Sprint planning, all this stuff, we try to make as lean, as small as possible. Estimations really do not work because the problems in estimations are not estimations. The problem is if someone asks you for an estimation, the problem begins in that moment when you spoke out the number, four hours, one week, three days, because the estimation, after, when it's born on Earth, it will be used as a fact. And this is the problem, not the estimation. I mean, 
This is, this is a number which is part of the contract. I mean, it's just an estimation. Ooh. So um, we, are, we have been looking for the maximum reduction and to say to the client, we do not, do not need how long does it take and so on. It won't work. He said, no, I don't want this. I need the specs and these contracts and so on. He is really convinced that he needs it. And we already, right now, we know that this is not true, even if he says, I'm obliged to. I don't have a chance to do it without. He can. We started to make our first, um, our first experience in, um, we have maintenance uh, clients. They have uh, co had in the, in the past contracts with us for 10, 20, 40, 100 hours a month. Just they call us and say, hey, here's a problem. Can you fix this? Can you build this? And so on. And even if they only have 10 or 20 hours a month, the time we spent on discussing how long it would take is more or less the same as doing the stuff. And then we started, please let us invest zero minutes in discussing how long it will take. Just write your ticket and we will do it. And finally, we'll present you uh, how many tickets we did and how, many, how much time it takes and um, then you just pay it and say, ah, no, okay. Because there's one really unfair stuff. Um, the situation was also that we have much more uh, clients that are inter interested in work with us than we have really skilled developers and project managers and so on. And so we said, uh, we do not need every client, so maybe there's a fair client. And um, they're all only discussing about, I cannot imagine that this took so long. 50 positions. Mr. Dietz, uh, that's me. Uh, I want to talk about position 5, 3, 11, and 12. So, um, and I say, uh, I guess um, it takes too long. Yes, I could not imagine. So, and we really be became a little bit more brave and say, <laughs> I believe that you, as a project manager, could not imagine that this took uh, two days. <laughs> I'm also not a programmer. We do not have the skill <laughs> to, to have an opinion about it. You do not know it, so you can imagine, I believe it, but talking about what? And the second interesting point was each month we are talking about positions and positions and positions, and always one direction, only one direction. I cannot imagine that this took so long. I said, okay, if you really want to talk about again with me about it, let's start it the other way. Please tell me which positions were surprising for you because, oh, just one day? Oh, I expected a week. Cool. You never did this, client. This is not fair. And to be honest, we're not interested in all this specified, detailed discussion. There are 24 tickets. There are, I don't know, uh, 48 hours. And it's just interesting for me in the result and the sum whether that feels OK or not. Of course, there are some things which seemed to be a little bit big or took a little bit long. But normally, this is the law of the bigger numbers. It will be equaled in, in the end of the month. And so we just saved all the time and all the discussions and all the querying. And this is where we started to make some experience in doing in that direction. No discussions in advance. I know when, when he's a client and normally he makes 20, just 20 hours a month, and then he writes a ticket. Okay, he said, mm, I, don't, I, I don't discuss with him. Uh, he don't want it. Um, and I see, well, maybe it took a month. Uh, then it will be clever from us to talk about in advance because we do not have any contracts. Maybe he won't pay it when we just do it. And he say, okay, this is the whole uh, uh, money that I have for the whole year. No discussion in advance because afterwards they will discuss anyway. And um, you're all smart developers, so I, I only have two hands, so I can't uh, write something. <clears throat> this is just our normal stuff. It's just um, if there's four tickets and an average, everybody knows, yeah, more or less five hours you need for it. Okay. And there are two teams. So this is team one, and they are really streamlined. Yeah? They make the four tickets, and they need five hours, five hours, five hours, five hours. This team is... Generally, finally, also very cool, but there are some slow guys and some really smart guys. And, um, well, um, he always, 
to <laughs> takes a little bit longer when he does a ticket, <laughs> nine hours. <coughs> and, uh, but this is okay because the next ticket he's doing in one hour. He has a brilliant idea, the same result in one hour. And if you're doing two tickets, you're doing two tickets, um, in total, for the four, you need 20 hours, you need 20 hours. And now what? Now, this invoice to the client, yeah, yeah, five hours, that feels good, five, 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 okay, 20, I will pay 20. So, what happens here? One hour, ooh, okay, one hour, ooh, okay, nine, no. I will ask my experts, and um, yeah, they, they uh, told me that it never takes nine hours, this is much too long, I only want to pay five. Five, five, one, one, I get for the same result 12 hours. This is not fair, and this, where we started, no. We don't want to do this discussion. We do not make any estimations anymore. We are looking for the right client. We are looking for clients who, in average, wants to pay just our hours, multiplicated with our hourly rate. They say, no, we need our contracts. We really need it. And no estimates do not work, okay. I would also not buy, uh, build a house with uh, <laughs> the information. I do not know how much it will cost finally because we really do not know. Um, so we said, what is the smallest part of estimation we could make to guarantee that the project will be a success? Reduce it to the max was the motto and so we said, okay, we need three things. First is a raw estimation. Yeah? In German, we say house number, yeah? yeah. Um, a bigger project, 240,000 euro. And we're doing this kind of uh, project uh, concept for projects in this dimension. It takes 12 months, and we have to produce 48 modules for you. These three things are the things which we will deliver him. And this is no Excel, this is no Word, it's really funny, it's, it's a PowerPoint he gets. Um, this is a title page, a beautiful title page. And uh, then um, it's really the 48 names of the 48 modules. For example, I, um, excuse me, just only German, Mehrsprachigkeit, uh, installation, um, uh, I don't know, integration of hotel, uh, 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 hotel Bewertung, hotel Bewertung, come on. Yeah, re review rating, hotel rating, integration, and so on. This is the name. There is no specification what we will do exactly in integrate hotel reviews. And there's no price for each module. This is just, we can do this 48, imagine the last one, so this 48 uh, in 12 months for this amount because we are a little bit longer on the market, we have experience, and we are absolutely convinced that we can do it for this amount. And we try to be better. That means to need less money and to be ready faster. Just a question, how many, perc the percentage of your projects which, where the life date is earlier than discussed with the client? It's not so high, you know? Or where the project finally is cheaper than in the contract with a client. Uh, well, we do not have musicians in our agency, but between 20 and 25% of our projects, because this is our goal, are faster and cheaper than expected before, because there is no disadvantage for us. I will explain it further on. So estimates do not work, but we're not doing hierarchy, because if three of our biggest projects are going wrong, I mean, the estimation was just fuck. And three of this at the same time, I mean, then we are bankrupt. So it, it could not, uh, we, we are much more interested as the client to really be safe that this can work. And I can show you how we do it. Estimations does not work, but predictions. After three, four, five weeks, we have the possibility um, we have a little bit more fancy stuff right now. This is our older slides, but um, this is just, okay, we have 43 weeks, we have 30, 31 modules, 80,000 euro, and these are the name of the modules. And this is just very, very simple. Very roughly, each week we say, okay, this module installation is done, one. This is done halfly, and really rough, not zero 
virgula six. No, it's just in quarters. Quarter, half, three quarters, done. So, and if it's done, it's green. If it's not uh, uh, started, it's red. And we're, we're looking forward not to have too many things simultaneously. So, in that way, we know how many modules have been done in this week, how many hours we spend on this project. And after this, this just creates some, um, this is after one or two weeks, it does not say anything. It's like uh, yesterday Cologne, no, on Friday Cologne was a leader of the German Bundesliga. And uh, I think St. Pauli was also uh, 10, 12 years ago, number one. Uh, it was on the first Spieltag. So, um, <coughs> but after four or three weeks, we can start to consider it. And if it's over here, it's modules. OK, this is the just normal average line. And we are above it. That means we are producing more modules in per week than expected in average. We are using a little bit more money also, but uh, until this is smaller than this, then we can do, we can, uh, do it because we just can also make an estimation Then it could be we are a little bit faster and the money will be all right. We are so convinced after the first test with this kind of agency behavior that we say, we take the risk for you. We also make a really, really good control for us. If there's a new in client who's interested in, in changing the agency, do this client really fits to us? It's not just doing stuff for him and he will pay it. No. Do he really fits to us? I mean, does he need the things which we, are, we can do really good. I mean, we can do a lot of stuff, but there are some stuff we, we do also for you if it's uh, OK, then if you're not the super experts. But there's some stuff we are really good in, and we're looking for these companies where we are really convinced if we work for them and we work really lean and concentrated and efficient, they will pay almost each hour. And the magic trick is that we take the risk. We do not have a contract. I mean, the clients think that they're really safe after a negotiation for weeks and months, and then they have this, the contract with a Mont Blanc and so on. And uh, I mean, if the agency has some small, cute guys, they know how to present stuff and so on, and then the contract is signed. And if we're putting only junior, uh, junior developers and uh, people on this project, we can fulfill the contract, but we know before that the client won't be satisfied. So he has nothing. He will, we can fulfill the letters and the hours, but he has no, absolute no guarantee that this project will be cool and he will be satisfied. But here's the contract. He has to do it in some way with the agency. Our way of doing projects is the best situation for him. I mean, we are, each month under pressure. We just write down, we make this modules, we needed 83 hours, and we hope that he will pay. Because the metric tick is that we take the risk for the intervals. Um, most of the clients, they want to know the new numbers only each four weeks. We do it weekly. And um, yeah, we go on risk in advance, and we hope that he will pay uh, the hours. And this is also then often a question raised up. Um, well, OK, this could work if clients trust you and you work very long for them. No. It works much, much better for new projects. This is what we say crushing pitches. If there is a company who's, ah, maybe we're interested in working together with side guys, but we have to do a pitch and all these big stuff. And we can say, hey, we can make an appointment, just meet each other. And after two hours, I know. Uh, what your problems, and I will make you suggestions. Let's start with not the whole project. Maybe you do not need a relaunch. With this, three modules. And we make a raw estimation. There's three modules we can do for 8,000 euro. And the client says, yeah, I don't know. I have to ask. No, we have to have nobody. If I have the feeling that this could be a good relationship, I will just start and show them how we work. And if you're good, we need 7,000 euro. And we have been, we're ready. Uh, five days before the expectations, 
and then he has a first improvement, and if he likes it, he has to pay it. He has no risk because he has no, no contract with us. It's just an hour risk. And one thing is for sure, that we are much faster is already proven when we start. On the end of the talk, I can show you how we crash pitches. If there has been a pitch, we have been invited, and in the middle of the pitch, the client said, ah, we, we can uh, make it, we could want to freeze it. Uh, maybe we don't need this pitch anymore. Maybe that was us uh, uh, crashing the pitch, uh, convincing the client during the pitch that he do not need the pitch, um, because we are much faster. We can start now. This raw estimations uh, only works in an agile and lean uh, surrounding. We do not make any waterfalls. Uh, rapid prototyping is a real, real good friend of, come on, um, raw estimation. It, we, must be, we must be really safe not to waste the money. That means there is no way to make all these uh, PSD files for 28 different page types and in responsive and so on, and then the client wants to change the number. We try to make the, the rounds of PSDs as small as possible. And as small as possible means perfectly would be zero. That means there is a, the new idea for a module from the client. So the first appointment is he as the graphic guy, he as a front end guy, and maybe me as a project manager, and he is the client. And maybe with or without the client, I can tell you what the idea of him. And you have a good idea how it could be just with some rectangles could be on the first page. And then he just creates you the containers, the buttons you need, and then, and he never made a design for the whole page. It, it is a creation between front end and graphic design. And um, then we can go to the client and show him the first results, just small pieces, deliver fast, often early. And then, uh, some really cool things could occur, I will tell you a little bit later. And um, how to get some clients which are really, really old school. Ah, I like the idea, yes, this is interesting, but we can't do this. We need it, it's, it's, it's not possible by law, by our concern company law. So um, if we are sure sometimes, uh, he's not only here, he looks like a client also. So. Um, he says, oh, Mr. Dietz, thank you for the first modules. Um, but uh, here I have a no new idea. And next week we meet each other. And I need, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, 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 need, uh, uh, I need a contract. I need an, an offer. I'm so sorry. I need a specified offer because we do not have so much time. And I want to, uh, I want to contract it with you. And that we can start very fast. Sometimes when this uh, module is safe, as we say. I know we, we know that you need it, and we are also convinced, and we uh, uh, told you many times, please do this module, and now you say, oh, it's your idea. So, uh, If we are safe, how to do it? And we meet each other next week. You will ask me, oh, I need my offer. Do you have the offer? No, I don't have an offer. I don't have an estimation. We just did it. And then uh, why? No, because uh, I, I don't give you uh, the contract. No, 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 why you did it? Yeah, we already did it. And here it's 72 hours. And if you like it, just use it. So he sees really in real, in life, that this is much faster. And sometimes if the client is honest, he says, oh, this kind of long page normally took 15 or 20,000 euro. Why it's uh, so fast and so efficient this time? And if we know him very good, and we are very honest to you, <laughs> yeah, because we just did it, and you don't um, multiplicate the waste in the project. I mean, often the project, the problems in the project begin when the project manager on the client side do not have so many skills about doing this kind of project, and then he is Googling two weeks, his briefing, and then <laughs> Uh, we need one week to convince him that these ideas are not so smart, and the last of the four weeks we have just to do it. So if he just even not start to doing his uh, bullshit stuff, and if we are really sure, then we just do it, and do it in our risk and advance. It does not uh, uh, work all the time, but there are a lot of situations where we say, oh my God, now we have to wait two weeks for his briefing. It, it's already clear what we have to do. Then just do it and convince him how small and lean the project can be without his bullshit bingo. 
We drive really on site. I mean, um, this is because we do not have any specs, specs of 80, 100, 100, 120 pages, and we have one year. Um, well, if we are good, we do not make even the, the half of it like it's described. It, the last module in December on a one-year project has been re-described and rearranged and uh, re-argued and recontracted five times before the first line of code is written. So we drive on site. And well, of course, when we have our estimations, the client says, okay, um, well, the main price is okay, 240. But uh, there are no single prices for the modules. Um, I mean, this module seems to be small. And this is much bigger. So yeah, maybe, could be. We will see when it's on site. We just define in detail the next module in tickets or the next two modules in tickets so it could fit together. Um, and sometimes you give them a cool first uh, page, maybe already uh, done in your CMS, and you can do the prototyping very rapidly. And then he says, oh, I really like your design. But could the shadow be a little bit more tight just to see it? Maybe, wouldn't it be good? And then we have our, in general we say Ponyhof. I don't know what's Ponyhof in English. We have our really nice to have eye candy list, yeah, Ponyhof. And we say, oh yeah, interesting idea. I write it on the Ponyhof list. But my question is, if you say it's okay, we are searching for the 70%. 70% is for us the moment where it's good enough to put it on the web because this module is already better than what he has right now on his web page. And I mean really, yeah, mixed stuff. Old website already mixed with the new stuff. This is what Otto, with Otto.de makes in his relaunch also. You do not have to wait for the big bang when everything is changing. Why? It's not clever. I mean, if you change 240 modules at the same time and you get a result from plus 10%, you will never know which modules created a plus from 300% and which a minus from 70. You only know the final result. This is not so clever. Do it uh, in small steps. And uh, yeah, the shadow discussion. Okay, put it on the Ponyhof list, but uh, we are convinced that this shadow discussion is not as important as doing the contact formula or doing the booking process. And we tell them what will be the most thing the most module would create the biggest value to his project. And the cool stuff, finally, if the project comes to an end, some of the clients, they do not even remember the existence of this Ponyhof list. All these wishes, which were so important, but ah, my, my boss says, oh, this blue is a little bit too dark, and say, okay, try another printer. And, um, <coughs> um, but we tell them the pony of list because in the, some, sometimes they will remember. And if you show them the pony of list at the, at, at the final 20% of, of the project, um, then they realize, smiling, looking at this list, that maybe 20, 30% of the list are still wishes anymore from them. And it's just, we try to avoid building beautiful houses in, in the ground floor and well, the first floor is not so cool anymore. But unfortunately, the time and the money just wasn't enough for building a roof. We are trying to build houses with certain roofs, with 70%. And he asked me, oh, wouldn't it be fine to have this fancy stuff? And I say, I don't know. Put it on the Ponyhof list. Please, let's do all the modules with 70% to be sure that it's not perfect, but you, we can put it online, it, it, it will fit to the, your main goals, and it will create better results than you have right now. This is not super duper, we know. But if we have all these 70% modules right here, then we know how many time and how many money we have. And if you see all these modules arranged together in 70%, this is the only moment we know which kind of enhancement, which kind of improvement, which kind of eye candy and gold plating is the best when I see everything together almost ready. And uh, then I'm also sure that I have time and money. No eye candy, just concentrate on the biggest values. You can do it with a zero uh, PSD, and the zero PSD stuff is also very cool. If we have our first appointment with a client, and 
we are not so cool and so clever that this works all the time in 100%, right? Of course not. But the cool moments are, we have the first appointment with him. We do not have a PSD, we have a prototype. It really works, sometimes really already in the system. And then, he is a client. He said, ah, pretty cool, I can already click on it and scroll and say how the behavior is. But I have some rebriefing stuff. And then he told me his rebriefing stuff, we go to the flip chart and we write it. And we find a solution very quick. And then this smart front end guy is together with me over there because it's already a prototype. Sometimes when we are discussing at the flip chart, he says, um, just a question. Do you mean it like this and turning around the notebook? And then you have a super convinced client which tells all his other uh, business colleagues, wow, I had a rebriefing where the rebriefing points have been already done when this appointment was over. And these are, you have to create real situations where you show where this real stuff really works, not in theory, in the reality. And this really works wonderful. Yeah, if you have these stuff already work together or you have these um, prototypes that makes the, the rebriefing live with a front-end guy in your agency. If they are not satisfied anymore, there is no contract, they can switch the agency all the time. This is very cool for the client. I mean, this puts the biggest, the biggest guarantee for him that we are uh, very, very concentrated because each month there is a possibility that he will stop the project because it's not so complicated for him. But also very, very cool thing, um, how our colleagues from the side guys like these kind of project behavior. <coughs> you can do with this kind of project management system, you can do the things that creates the biggest happiness in the agency. We also do not have a contract with them. And it's so easy to fuck the biggest asshole clients just that way. And I can promise you, I am doing this for 20 years. There is no, pos there is no other stuff to make your colleagues uh, uh, so happy for that. Because why are we working for this client? We do not have to do it. If you're sure, there will be other clients with other cool projects which will make your colleagues much more happy than switch the client. So, this really works really fine together, and we call it real, Rusty Mates, Agile, and Lean. And um, <coughs> so we are an agency, I don't know, uh, 45 employees, more or less, and we are doing a lot of tourism projects, a little bigger complex projects. What do you think, what is the percentage of projects we do in this kind of way, and which one we will do in the old school business classical way? Percentage of doing real projects without any contracts. Any? What? 80 to 20. 80 to 20, okay. Uh, it, it really changes a lot. We are not at 100% and it's just no, um, this is no religion or stuff like that. Uh, if, a if a client is interesting for us, a new one, and he's very old school, we say, okay, we give him six months, nine months, and then he will be convinced that his old school way is not the best. Right now it's between 80 and 90 percent. And the difference to 100 is a long tail of smaller projects. It's not um, the biggest projects uh, last year um, have been 100 percent in that way. We, we won't uh, start a really big project uh, in the old school way. This is really... Uh, uh, the biggest guarantee to be unhappy. Yeah, we are uh, crushing pitches. Uh, just an example, it was a cool pitch in Switzerland. A big pitch, six agencies, you have six months to create tons of stuff for free. I don't like this, we're doing not uh, many pitches, but they, they seem to be, they really fit to us. We received it on Monday, we read it, we discussed, and we said ah, that would be wonderful for us. They do not know, but we are the best agency for them. We were really convinced because we did this, the same stuff a lot of times. So um, we called them on, on, on uh, Tuesday and said, um, yeah, we have so many questions. Uh, can we visit you on Thursday? Oh, no, that's not in the process. I, yeah, I know, but we will pay it, and it's just our questions, and we just want to do it live because the chemistry between us is so important. 
Um, yeah, and we, the, finally they said, okay, come on, then the, the questions in face to face. Okay, we had some questions, but that was not the real reason for being there. We wanted to present them our prototype. And guess what? They were really convinced. They were really surprised and said, uh, wow. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just uh, 30 minutes more like this here, information. We work totally different than the other agencies, and this is so efficient. I mean, six months for the pitch, six weeks. Then six weeks goes the decision. Then four weeks for, I mean, after three or four months, you will start the project. And you say, it's so urgent. You could be ready if you do it with us in that way. And if you do not stop us, we will do it the same way. We will work on the project, and in one week later, we will show you our next results, and then please think about stopping the pitch. Maybe you do not need a pitch. Yeah? Let us work for four weeks and we can show you how efficient your project can be. Because they don't really know it. And this is what we are doing, um, what we call real world, and what they are doing is really old school business. You have to show them in really live examples, not like here in theory, to show them in that way. And um, we were really, really convinced and I was surprised uh, how fast it would be. I mean, we thought maybe after three or four years, half of the clients will do it that way. And maybe one of the most interesting stuff, which we communicate on all talks, not even developer talks, very, very open. Since we do it that way, our profit is much bigger. And this is what we also tell to the clients, because the percentage of waste, what you save in the projects, is minimum 30, often more than 40% of a project. And the last years before doing real projects, it was growing, 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 not finding enough good uh, developers. And yeah, it was plus minus zero, a little bit profit, but growing, the risk rose much faster than the profit. There's no security. And now we have a third of the project which we do not need. So we take 10%, which is not so less because we're doing more than 4 million euro turnover. And this we can invest in the company. Yeah? We can invest in beautiful offices and all these desks right up, down, and so on, and, and to support all the open source stuff um, to be really much more stable. And we say this also to the clients because they say, oh, no, you, you earn more money. No, then uh, it's, 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 no, it's cheaper for them because the bigger part of this savings from, let me say, a third of the project goes to them, and more or less 10% goes to us. And um, it is really, really amazing. This is really changing a lot in doing the normal projects on our side. But you have also to train the customer. On bigger projects, one of the first things is to give them a day of a workshop for free about Lean and Agile and Green and all the stuff. Because if the project manager does not cope in the stuff, show the client how he can change his normal behavior to say, make all these savings in time and money and better projects because to doing the projects uh, specifying on site. Um, if you do not show him, it won't work. So this is just to come to an end and have maybe a little bit of time to make some questions. Uh, it has been really gone like a rocket. Uh, the, our raw estimate is, is a, a, a <coughs> practical inside the book of no estimates. It was a great honor for us. A lot of st stuff reports about it. And um, <coughs> we have much more fun because it's much easier. And the people say, at side guys, we are not working in the project against the client. Now we work together with them. And they love it because we show them how we can make together the projects more efficiency and faster and with a better quality because specify on site and not one year before when we have the, the least information about the project. And um, yeah, it's, it's really cool and fun to show them that really shift can happen. And if you have some more questions about it, you can ask them right now or we have a blog about it where you can read some more interesting stuff. And we are really keen to talk about other agencies to make these kind of, of doing projects a little bit more popular. But shift can really happen, and you can change the way of doing projects radically. Um, this is, would be my last sentence. Um, we ask new employees 
what are your impressions of the first two weeks at Zeitgeist? And after this, the first answer is, uh, you are, in German, you are so krass agil, or in English, so crazy agile, but they really mean it in a positive way. And uh, it, I think it would be great if you have this posit positive feeling also in your agencies. Thank you very much. Um, Vasco. Vasco. Um, Vasco. Portuguese. Also Vasco, Vasco, Dayama, Vasco, Vasco. Um, Vasco. Um,